Recently, Regina Daniels' husband disclosed that he married his six wives, including Regina Daniels, as virgins. And this has got lots of Nigerians talking. While some people believe that there is nothing wrong with it, other people are seeing it to be diabolical, to be ritualism, that probably he is into something occultic, allegedly. Hi guys, you are watching M Chiki series. So recently, Nedumoko has gone ballistic with his responses to an interview he had with Punch, saying that when he met her, that he liked her, and especially when he found out that she is from his place, that he had always wanted to marry somebody from his side. And when they were introduced to each other, one thing led to another, that was when he found out that she is a very decent girl, and he has always said that he wouldn't marry anybody who is not a virgin, and that is very important to him. And when he found out that Regina is a virgin, it reinforced his decision to marry her. He married all his wives as virgin. Hmm. This is really disturbing. And uh, the only thing I can think about this is who asked him. I'm sure, I think I can remember, he has once said that his wives were virgins when he married them. And uh, he likes marrying virgins and stuff like that. I think he said it last year. And in Regina's magazine that she recently launched, there is this storyline in that magazine that talks about how she met Nedi as a virgin. So my question is this, why is this topic of discussion? I feel so disgusted that this man has time to be saying this kind of nonsense. Because to me, however you meet your wife, shouldn't be a topic of discussion. So I don't know why he's always talking about it, why he likes mentioning it. Honestly, when I had this interview, when I read his responses, the first thing that came to my mind was occultism, ritualism, sacrifices. What is he doing with virgins? Remember, he was the one that came out to grant interviews, so don't come for me. Because I'm just interpreting this the way I understood it. I can't understand an old man picking virgins all over, little girls, as virgins, as his wives. And this is the sixth one. Regina is the sixth wife. The man is 60 years. Regina is 20 years. So I don't know what he does with virgins. If you know, please leave the comment below for me, because I don't understand. And some Nigerians are even joking about this. The way I look at this is really more than what you guys expect or what you guys are seeing because it doesn't make sense to me it does not make sense to me at all please make it make sense to me and for the fact he's open with it he doesn't even hide it it's a bit worrisome to me because uh, he doesn't even care he says it to the hearing of anybody who cares to listen which means he never loved his wives before marrying them he only married them because they were virgins and which man does this in this 21st century you bring in tender loving young ladies who are virgins and you break them, then you move to the next virgin. You go ahead to marry the next virgin. <laughs> virgins, get ready because all of you will finish in Nedimoko's family. <laughs> and to even think that when he marries them, he make them pass through these traditional rites that will make them not to cheat while they're in marriage is even very annoying and he will be jumping from one virgin to another. Can you imagine that? I don't know when it's now a thing of pride to be discussing the sexuality of your wife on social media. This is very ridiculous. This is very annoying. This is very sad to say the least. Because I never expected a mature man like Ned Moko to be talking about this. To be discussing, saying irrelevant things, frivolities like this. Because to me it doesn't make sense. It doesn't glorify anybody. Like I said before, I've read this story where he talked about the wives being virgins. But I never gave any attention to it. But the reason why I'm making this video is because he has kept to reiterate it and see if uh, there is something more to it. And the question I keep asking, because I need somebody to answer this question for me, what does he do with virgins? What actually does he do with virgins? Because I know some people, they go out hunting for virgins so that they'll be able to do something ritualistic with them or something occultic with them. But in his case, I don't know what he does with virgins. Let me put it like that. Because this world is so deep. There are some things you cannot understand. And that's the reason why when people make certain comments, say certain things, I'm a bit taken aback. I tend to wonder a bit why they're saying that. What does this person get from doing this? Because it's not clear to me what he does with virgins, honestly. Again, another reason I'm thinking why he's always saying that is because probably people are saying that Regina Daniels has gone out with some Adina the guy that normally acts with her in the movie, which I personally, I don't think so. 
they can be close as colleagues or they are just using that narrative to push themselves to the limelight so that people will get interested in them talk more about them and they will be able to get more followers but in any case even if they go out or even if they sleep together that's their own cup of tea that's not what i'm talking about here the reason why is it that Ned is always talking about marine virgins that's the bone of contention of this video not about somebody not original that one doesn't interest me anyway and while going through the comments i realized that most people don't really see anything wrong with him marrying virgins it's only few comments i saw that are interesting to me so i'll read out some of the comments to you guys and this comment says a great mistake when you marry a virgin you're only delaying the inevitable at some point in her life she'd go forth to seek more knowledge from outside cause she succumbed to curiosity about bigger d multiple orgasm kissing and virility a 60 year old bologna man marrying his granddaughter's age mate will naturally lack the strength to satisfy multiple wives uncountable mistresses and desperate quickies i hate to break this bad news to nerdy but regina will eventually f younger men with good looks who know how to f rich young wives all day long without breaking too much sweat and this one reads mu mu man i pity men that underestimate a woman you're not a virgin and you like to marry virgins you think say you get sense in this day age people that have just one wife can still not satisfy her the wife is cheating and giving them kids that end theirs abby young your young wife block that part of social media for you not to see you can't eat your cake and keep it money is not everything by now those five wives go down the chop palm and prick the likes of gate man driver and houseboy if you like give them money you can't give them attention and sexual satisfaction even if you f one every day for six days and rest on the seven like a small god one f a week is not enough for a woman in as much as we all know you can't go six rounds a week hmm you never know he might surprise you so don't challenge him with that then this one said how old is he again and he's talking like a kid i'm sure a 24 year old daughter is still a virgin too you're obsessed with virgins that means you're not done yet because there are more virgins out there Ned, sir, it's time to act your age not your last wife's age <laughs> really anyway this one he said um i hope that your 24 year old daughter is a virgin yeah i hope his own daughter is a virgin so that other people will also enjoy what he's enjoying wouldn't that be lovely personally i think that there is more to this than meets the eye i've never seen somebody that brag like this talking about virgins except there is something underneath there is a something he's not telling us um, I know some African men have this uh, virgin complex because before in the old days it used to be a requirement for a woman to get married. They would check if you are one, if you are not, then I think they will call up the marriage or something like that. But in this 21st century, for somebody to be bragging with that, and most importantly when he said that it is very, very important to him, and that six of them were before he married them. It sets me thinking and it makes me to wonder what kind of man he is. I'm not really comfortable with this anyway. This season has also been season of interview for her and her husband because she also granted an interview with Saturday Beat where she talked about how she met her husband and she said that the first impression she had with him that she'll keep saying is that he looked like a farmer. Hmm. This lady is funny. Nelly Woke looked like a farmer when she met him initially. And they actually went on a tour to his house in the village in a natural local government area. And he was so polite and educative. He wants one to know about nature and world in general. He wants one to experience different things. So he was always trying to educate that's them on that particular visit. Oh, really? You see, men and women are different. What she likes about him is different from what he likes about her. <laughs> Interesting. I also think there is this part she forgot to add. I wouldn't say she forgot. Probably she didn't want to add it. That's been speculating here. That he's also wealthy. Okay, that's me done. And she also granted an interview with BBC Pigeon talking about her pregnancy, how smooth it went, how she didn't feel any pain, how it was so, so easy for her. And she wanted to actually, that she's not happy that she delivered in Nigeria. She would have loved to deliver abroad. <laughs> Nigerian women and delivering abroad. Okay, um, so let me know what you guys think about Nedi Moko and his visions, okay? Because other women we've not seen, but we know the Moroccan woman and Regina for now. So maybe he'll throw more light on the other visions that he has been with. Is it okay for him to be mentioning that whenever he's granting an interview? Do you think he's using it to brag? Do you think there's something more to 
having virgins as wife and not just one, having about six of them. And again, I don't know what Islamic religion says about this uh, marrying so many wives, how it plays out with the religion. I'm going to sign off here, stay healthy and safe. Share this video with family and friends if you love it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not done already. And I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye.